Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here today, my name is Dragon, and what I will be going over is I'm actually unboxing my crowd tap um, crowd kit that I came, that came in today. Uh, well, actually, it came in a couple of days ago, but I'm, I'm recording today. That's the thing. Um, so today, the the crowd tip that crowd tap that I got was. Um, I actually got two of them in two different colors. It is the Almay Best Blend Forever Makeup Foundation. Uh, they gave me True Beige and Sand Beige to try out. Now, with this uh, new Almay Best Blend Forever Makeup, uh, it is a lightweight makeup, makeup that hydrates the skin for up to eight hours with an SPF of 40. Um, it comes in 12 shades, so these are the shades that they have. Uh, the darkest one is Mocha, the lightest being Porcelain. Um, it did give me a little thing that gives you a sample of each of the colors to get a better idea as to which one you need. Uh, the one thing that I really do like about it is even though it comes with this blender, buffer, whatever you want to call it thing, those things are always never so great to use it does detach to where you just have like a little um, squeeze bottle so I do like that about it uh, I did try this foundation one day um, when I was going out just to kind of see how it wore and it seemed to be okay for the five hours that I wore it didn't have to touch up um, now I tend to have a little bit of combination skin. I'm very dry through the T-zone, but my cheeks and my forehead do get oily. Um, so I did notice like after about five hours, the oil started to come through. Uh, but like I said, I didn't have any like um, blotting powder or anything like that to kind of calm it down in the five hours of wearing it. So it wasn't horrible. Like if you if you're one of those that do carry around either blotting tissues or um, a powder that you can kind of do over your face whenever it starts to get those oils coming through, uh, then I don't see there being a problem with this. Um, now I haven't had a chance to actually wear it for up to eight hours. Like I said, it was only about five hours that I wore it the one day. Uh, so I am going to try it's almost three o'clock now so I'm gonna put it on and leave it on for a while and I will try to remember to do some check-ins to kind of let you know how it wears so we are gonna go ahead and get started so the foundation not foundation um so the primer that I'm gonna be using is the Urban Decay Optic Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This is a soothing rose hip and argan oil pore perfector. So I'm just gonna So what I'm going to do is, since I already tested this out, I already know that I need the darker, the true beige color um, for it to match my skin. And I am going to take that little blender thing off because, it, like I said, it did not work well for me whenever I tried it. Uh, I just kind of pretty much just used it to put the foundation on and then I used my own blender to get it all done out. And I'm just going to put a little bit more just to kind of beef up that coverage because it's really more of a, I guess I would say it's a light to medium, um, but you can build it up without it looking caking. And 
I'm not just doing that on my cheeks there where I tend to have a lot of redness come through. Alright, let me zoom you in real quick. Get nice and personal here. So this is what it looks like prior to anything else, just the foundation itself. Uh, like I said, it does, it's kind of a light to medium. Um, I do have a little bit of a blemish there and right there um, that still kind of show through. But it is not a horrible look. It doesn't really set too far into my lines because I do have uh, some deep lines here in my forehead um, that I can't get rid of mainly because I kind of raise my eyebrows a lot which I probably shouldn't but kind of can't help it just something I do um, but so far that's what it looks like so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead off camera, I'm going to finish up my makeup, come back so we can see how it looks with all the, the concealer, the powder, and all of that on top of it. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to do some check-ins to see how it wears. Alright, so here is my finished look for today. I did kind of a natural look. Um, just want to kind of do a close-up so you can see how everything looks right now. This is with my bronzer, my contour, blush, highlight, powder, all of that fun stuff. Um, now as you can see here, it does kind of gather a little bit, but like I said, this is my dry spot um, all around in this general area. So it's not doing too bad so far, and it's already been on for about 30 minutes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with my day. I'm not going to touch up. Um, that way you can kind of see how it looks afterwards um, with the, the bronzer and all that and see how everything lasts on the face with this foundation. So I will be back later. I will try and check up like every couple of hours, give or take. We'll see how it goes. But um, this is what I got so far. And we'll be back later. Thanks. Alright, so as you can see, this is at the two, about two and a half hour mark. Um, now you can start to see the oils starting to come through. Like I said, they would. Um, but I wanted to let you see what it looked like after about two hours. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to do a little bit of touching up with uh, some mattifying powder to see if that will help out with my shiny forehead and then I will again check back in later for you to see how well it's going. Alright so here is my second check in. It has been about five hours now and as you can tell the foundation is still holding up. Um, the contour is still there. The blush is a little eh, and the highlighter's kind of dying out on me now. But that's also because I have done some touch-ups um, with the powder to try and control the oil. Uh, so I am at the theater now, about to go and see the miracle season. And then I will do at least one more check-in before the end of the night. Alright, so this will be my last check-in. I'm about to go into the gym. I know I'm going to be one of those people that get to the gym with their makeup on. But that's okay. Um, just wanted to let you see what it looked like. Uh, it is now 940. So it has been on for quite some time. Again, everything is still holding up. I am a little bit greasy, but that is okay because I haven't found any foundation that I don't have grease come through so just want to let you see how it is so y'all have a great night